Hey everybody, it is the beginning of January 2022. Happy New Year. And that means I'm going to do a quick run through of everything that I made last month in December. Um, it was a little bit less than normal just because I think, you know, December is so busy and crazy. But that's okay. You know, it is what it is. And I got memories down and it's a new year. So this is the first layout that I made. No, that's not true. This is the first one I'm going to show you. This is in our camping album. It's from 2021. And I got this Alta new, I think it's called Spectacular Adventures. Give it because there's specs. Um, I got the stamp set and die set. And so I was super excited to use it. So I wanted to throw together a quick page. I made this page in my life crafted camping album. I used the stamp and then I used a few other different ones like from in a creative bubble and everyday explorers. And I tried to do like channel my inner Heidi swap and do like some of the, um, like kind of collage stamping, I think is maybe what you would call it, um, here. So, and then of course I also added in some puffy alphas from Heidi Swap's collection. So that was fun. I might have shown this last month, so if I did, please bear with me. But this is the start of my December Memories album. It is not for a specific year. It's going to be for multiple years. I unfortunately did not get as many stories done in it that as I wanted to. But honestly, I have some pictures already printed, so I'm probably going to still continue to work on this even after the holidays, which is now. But um, this is from the Holiday Magic Collection by Paintbrush Studio. Um, and I did a fun little interactive acetate sheet with the tree and gifts. And this is in the Vicki Boot and Warm Wishes 6x8 album. And I did this little page about myself as a child. And then I also did this page, which again is about myself as a child. Um, I have this little red wagon that I got for Christmas that I still have. It's out front being used as a planter now. Um, and I created my own little red wagon to go with it and filled it with gifts. And it was just super fun to make. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. And that's all I did. I know I'm a little bit disappointed, but life, man, I'm telling you, life got in the way. And I do have stories written up and I have photos written up. So I'm probably just, like I said, gonna work on that when the, um, when it strikes my fancy. I just did this. Let me make sure we're in frame. We are. I just did this. Um, it's from 2019. I'd already done the two 12 by 12 layouts, one of my son Heath and one of my son Lachlan on their birthday. And I kind of like did an overview, like picked my favorite picture. And maybe I think I did the caption that I wrote on their Instagram post when I posted about their birthday. And this is going to be a nine by 12 pocket page that holds all the other things that happened on that day. So he had his favorite meal, open gifts. He wanted to go in the hot tub. He played with some of his toys. This is his last picture as a seven-year-old this was in 2020 so I was working back and the, um, their birthdays are one day apart so their albums or their layouts are right next to one another so this is just going to be like an insert in between the two 12 by 12s so this was when Lachlan was turning five so we said hi by the four and they went for ice cream he had um a gift he wanted a charcuterie for his birthday and we went in the hot tub again that um this was the first layout i posted in december this was for the a cherry on top blog hop we just focused on what did we focus on frames we focused on frames so i had these um heidi swap frames which i loved so i did a fun messy background i think i used the entire pack of frames and i used some of the holiday magic collection by pink fresh and i'm super happy with how this turns out I need to date this. I do put them, I, after I do this video, I do go ahead and put everything in the album. So it's not like it's gonna get lost or get put in the wrong album. These pictures are from 2020. You can tell he's holding a mask and they're not from 2021 because he's ginormous now. <laughs> so that's the way I can tell that they're from 2020. I need to go in the 2020 album. I made this layout for, pink, uh, for um, a cherry on top as well. And I love it. I love this messy background. I added to my mixed media with rub-ons by 49th and Market and I'm obsessed. Um, I think I'm about to make a new layout today. 
using more uh, rub-ons because I loved them so much. And these pictures are from this year. So you can see he grew. I don't even know if you can really tell, but like he grew so much, like huge. Um, they both did. So these were when we went to see Santa this year, when we went to the mountains, which was part of their birthday gift from their grandparents. And I need to scrapbook um, some of the stuff we did. But, so that was really fun. I made this layout for Mixed Media Frenzy and an exciting fun thing that happened in December was that I was asked to join the Mixed Media contributing team on a weekly basis instead of just the end of the month hops that they allow everyone to participate in. So that was exciting for me and I'm super excited to join them. I love the inspiration that they pick and I always seem to get some of my favorite layouts. I was looking back at 2021 and kind of like looking at all my pictures of my layouts and almost some of my most favorite ones were ones that I completed for Mixed Media Frenzy. So I'm excited to join that team. Um, this was just a funny little um, story about how silly my boys are and how he has kind of changed Lachlan's middle name and it's just a funny little story. But I love how this background turned out and I'm glad that the original layout did not call for a lot of cover up because I did not want to cover up this background. It was so pretty and I don't know that I could replicate it. I hope I could. My friend says that's the uh, sign of a true artist if you can basically replicate what you've done before um, and it wasn't like a fluke that you accidentally made pretty art. But <laughs> anyway, I am happy with how that turned out as well. Um, this was for Technique Tuesday for a cherry on top and I have since posted that layout also on my channel here but um, we were focusing on acrylic paint in December so that was fun. Um, so I used acrylic paint on my gel press to do the background here and to do all these little houses which was just on a sheet and then I like um, die cut them with my Cricut. I also used my Cricut to cut out this Grinch and this is a cut file from Paige Evans. And wow, look, are we at the end? Oh my gosh, I did not get a lot done. <laughs> this is one that I just posted the other day. It's a mixed media frenzy layout and we scrap lifted a super fun layout that took a long time, <laughs> but I'm happy with how it turned out. My kids were in um, a family member's wedding this summer and they wore blue suits and they had Hawaiian shirts and his shirt has like pink and purple in it. So I had a lot of fun using navy blue and purple and a little pop of pink here and there to create this page and I'm super happy with how it turned out and it's grungy and messy and I'm just exactly how I love it. So before I sign off, I will talk about my memory keeping for the past year. I haven't been posting it as much because let's be real, I have not been keeping up with it like I should. Um, so I have this fun little happy planner binder thing. And then this is my um, Paper House Productions spiral planner. And you can see I have a lot in here, like it's, it's chonky, but it's not completely finished. It's full of photos. All the photos are there. So I feel like that's a win. Um, but the journaling isn't all there. And I don't think I'm going to go back and do it. It just probably isn't going to happen. Let's be real. And I, I'm just going to have to live with it. So anyway, we'll do a super fast clip, flip through. I will fill this in. I'm going to have to print another one because I definitely read way more books than are here. Um, I think I ended with 53 for the year. We have birthdays we have um so at the beginning of each month we have like a month calendar and then i started out and so the whole year i do these long photos they're like six inches by two less than two it's probably more like 1.75 because there's a border between them when i print but anyway i print three on a four by six sheet so I just fill in some long photos. I fill in with journaling. I was putting in the shows we were watching or the movies and the books I was reading. I would also sometimes put in our wine labels. <laughs> and I was doing really well. I'm really gonna try so hard this year not to let like, go off task, but um, Ted Lasso, one of our absolute favorites. If you have not watched it, I suggest doing so. Una Auto Order. I just recommended that book to someone. Um, weird. I thought that I read that last year, but apparently I read that this year? This past year? I don't even know, y'all. Everything is a blur. It, like, went fast. It went slow. Who knows? So, 
this is the February overview. We have Valentine's. We have Snow Apocalypse. OMG Snowbid. It was a week of not just snow, it was ice. It was atrocious. Um, we are not equipped for this in Tennessee. Um, we like to see snow. It is exciting. It is beautiful. We like for it to go away the next day. <laughs> so we redid our bedroom. More fun springiness. Plants, dogs, dogs and plants. <laughs> uh, this was spring break. We went to Stone Mountain, Georgia and camped, which was fun until our camper broke down. That was not so fun, um, but it's fixed. I love our little camper. It's fine. Um, baseball started. Soccer started. Baseball was so cold that night. Then it was Easter. Like, seriously, cold. Like, he is wearing a parka over his baseball uniform. It was, like, freezing cold that night. And then we had Easter Sunday, and it was beautiful. And we were all wearing shorts and, and dresses. And <laughs> Again, April overview i got a lot of things and i used this to house some photos that maybe wouldn't quite fit in the um up and down way so you can see april was when i started fading out i didn't do any journaling here we went to house of cards for my sister-in-law's birthday my irises were blooming that's the tennessee state flower um so i have no journaling here but i have stickers and i'm doing okay and I think oh I'll go back and fill in journaling I have journaling here um got a new rug he loves to post some bubblegum playing ball doesn't he um register my little guy for kindergarten and we have May uh oh we have nothing <laughs> oh but we have journaling and a complete spread here so it's like mm, it's kind of all over the place still putting movies that we watch and shows and books Again, with the no journaling. I think this is pretty much kind of when the journaling ended, I'm, which sucks. I suck. I didn't even make it halfway through the year. Um, but I still have, like, decorated the page. Um, my little guy graduated from preschool. Threw him a little surprise party. Friends visited from out of town. We went to the playoffs for baseball. He always ends up being on, like, a losing team, and then they always go to the playoffs and do really well. It's incredible. He has lucky streak like that. Um, just some spring goodness here. And then not so much with the decorating. And this is kind of where we fall off. And I am so sad because it's a great concept and I love the idea, but I just can't keep up with it. Um, so I'll flip through real quick, but we have um, washi at the top and photos and that's pretty much all we have unfortunately um, I'm definitely gonna have to cover that up because it's just ugh. but it's better than nothing and I'm gonna try to so hard to do better this year so I'm doing a new format this year I'll show it to you in a moment but I think that maybe as a scrapbooker it will be easier for me to keep with know, we'll see but yeah that's I mean I literally like just finished this up so I know that there's no journaling or anything after all of these but I did finish all of the photos and so I feel like that's a little bit of a win um I probably am going to go back and do my my monthly um spread because I do love the way that those look I love 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 them so much so I am going to go back and fill those up but as far as journaling I'm not going to do that it's impossible I mean I could try but it wouldn't be true it wouldn't be when I have a story that I want to scrapbook, I put it in my notes and I like write it in the moment and I like say what I want to say about it then. And then I maybe can edit that later on with hindsight. But as far as like journaling in like a diary format such as this, um, it's just not going to be authentic if I go back and try to do it now. Not to mention the fact that the reason I scrapbook is I have a terrible memory. So I would probably like just mess everything up. So, but here we have it. Here's Nashville baseball again they both played baseball in the fall brother's birthday more plants fall break more national parks i'm gonna visit them all um more redecorating the house birthday season starts all of my boys are in october and november in our house and we have halloween in between I just don't know how everybody keeps up with this. Like, I feel like 
I like to do so many different things that I can't just pick one project and be like, that's what I'm gonna finish. Um, Cause if I did that, then it's just gonna be my scrapbook. But I like to dabble in this, right? And again, I should just be glad that I have um, the photos down. We have like Thanksgiving week here, maybe in the Christmas season. Last month, December, and this is like chunky and I don't even have inserts added in here in the last half of the month, year either, you know? So imagine if I had done that, it would be like a round thing. I don't know that it would fit in my little binder. Week full of Christmas fun, more Christmas fun. And that was last week, that was last night. Y'all, it was a uh, charcuterie that I made last night. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. One sec, let me grab my this year. So I super love the up and down photos and I've done that for two years, but I thought that I wanted to try something different. And I think that this will be almost a little bit easier just because if I'm going to use this um, Heidi Swap uh, Storyline Chapters Planner. And so this is the album that it comes with. Um, it almost seems a little primitive to be honest with you, but I'm thinking that for chunking up these books like I clearly like to do, it's gonna be good. So I'm kind of excited to start this and you guys need to cheer me on and tell me you want me to make videos of it and show you what I'm doing in here because I got this all from the Sherry on Top store, this gorgeous album. And then it has these cool little rods in there and you stick in your book. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So we have the beginning. I need to just like start. I mean, I like set it up and then obviously I'm going to work after the week is done and fill it in with my photos. So there's going to be like a monthly spread, which I'll probably still do like the little photos and everything. And, hmm. Let's see here. This is the one actually that I'm gonna work in. So these are gonna be the weekly spreads. So they're horizontal instead of vertical, but I really will not mind putting just like a three by four or two by three picture and kind of like overlapping a line. I think I'll be doing that a lot. Um, so I like the like muted colors. They can kind of work with a lot that I have and do. And there's two of these books of like the weekly stuff. And then this front book here then is gonna be the monthly overviews and highlights. So I kinda like that. Um, let's see, is that page before? So we have a year overview. Then we have, this will be like January, right? And then this will be like highlights, goals, um, I'll probably cover up some of those sometimes. So I think I'm gonna go and make, like, this will be January, the, the paint spread right after. So I don't know, stay tuned. Um, hold me accountable. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this system for 2022 and hopefully get more done than I did last year. So thank you guys for watching my flip through. It's a little long today, but um, hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think down below. And if you don't already subscribe, I'd love you to like and follow me. Bye y'all.